there's another. Hey guys, how's it going? I got home tonight and I thought it's such a beautiful evening I'll come out and make a vlog So here I am So I'm, I'm not just out just purely to film a vlog I've um, just bought a set of panniers that soft luggage ones and I've just fitted them and I'm now just tested them to make sure they don't fall off because that'll be fun Obviously, for you newbies, you new guys, I haven't. Um, how very nice of you. Hello. Hello. Is that a Repsol scooter? I think it was. <laughs> anyway. So yeah. For those of you that have only recently subscribed to me, I'm going to Ireland with Wyvern Biker, Mr. Hughesy 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 Hugh, CQ. Hugh. We might have added one to one too many Hughesies there. Uh, 08 Ride um, and Huggy Britain. We're going at the end of June, so that should it's going to be a good laugh. I've got my tickets all sorted, we've been having a few chats. Um, yeah, I've, uh, so like I say, I've just uh, bought a set of panniers which are just fitted and now I'm just out and about. Making sure they actually work, making sure they don't fall off. So I'm sort of Mr. Budget when it comes to jobs like that. <laughs> as long as they stay there, I'm happy. Um, I don't have it fitted yet because it's still in the post. I've also ordered a Givy tank bot, tank clock bag thing. Basically, you get a an adapter screws into your fuel filler cap. It's really warm. What? It's really warm. It's really warm today. So yeah, you get a a fitting connects to your tank, so where your fuel filler cap, and then a the bag fits into that. I, uh, I've never really trusted the looks of these magnetic bags. I just get this horrible feeling that you're going to be going at the speed limit and it'll just fall off. So I'd rather something that's a bit more attached. Uh. This hay has really been annoying me. I've said it several times, it's really annoying me. I've, I've, Nose is just constantly itchy and I constantly want to sneeze. If you get the choice, don't have it. <laughs> um, anyway, yeah. So I was thinking, I, I watched a very, very quick vlog this morning, it's like a 37 seconds jobby. It's by I Am Dead Silence. And in it, a car, it was at a set of traffic lights, and a, as he, his lights went green, he pulled away. The car in front of him almost had a smash of a car that jumped the red lights. You know, pretty bad driving. And I said to him, you know, you're lucky in this instance, you didn't feel it all the way to the front, because that could have been you there, and possibly on a bike, the driver may not have seen you. It could have come out a lot worse. And you got me thinking how how much of life is just full of coincidences. See, I mean, I'm, last year, before, in fact, not last year, the December before last year, when I was sort of thinking about getting a bike. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so last year, before I was thinking of getting a bike and doing my super seat, there's one cold, wet weekend, not just browsing YouTube and you know, one thing leads to another and you end up in some weird area. And that weird area was the world of motovlogging. 
And I think I found Weem and I found Smo and Baron. And I found another guy, Premises187. You might know him, he's quite a big vlogger. And he had a link in it, you know, after watching a few of his videos, he had a link in his um, description, I'll come and follow me on Twitter. So I went and followed him on Twitter. Oh, how slow can you be to get round that corner? Indicate! No! Also! Um, yeah, anyway. Okay, getting sidetracked there. Um, so I followed him on Twitter. And I mean, he was obviously quite a big... big vlogger at that point anyway, you know, he had a lot of followers. And, um, I get a message from him. Or a like, direct message in Twitter. You know, hey buddy, how's it going? And I thought that's really nice, you know, that's really you know, does he do that to all his followers? That's really nice of him. And then the message just started getting a bit weird. I just want to point out this point. Back then when I was on Twitter, my handle was just simply my username was just simply my name, my picture was me. So I was quite easily recognisable, not more sort of ninja up now. Not a ninja, CPR'd up. Haha. -ha. Um, so yeah, he messaged me, he says, um, you know, how do you like, do you like my vids? Yeah, I think they're quite entertaining. He says, uh, didn't you used to go to this college? How do you know that? Like, yeah. And then he went, um, so do you know who I am? I went, um, went back, what, listened to a couple of other videos, like, well, you can't be this person, you can't be that person. So the only other person I think you could possibly be is this person. And he went, yes, that is. Small world. And just really weird coincidence, you know, just bored one weekend, I say browsing YouTube and then Twitter and finding this guy, uh, you know, it's quite anonymous and I happen to used to go to college with him. Really weird. We are trying to, well, I'm trying to make plans to meet up with him at some point in the near future, but see how it goes. So yeah, just, let's say coincidences just got me thinking about that, you know, and how then started getting me thinking a bit more about how, you know, deeper into coincidences, how it, certain things happen in your life and if that didn't happen would you be where you are now and what, so yeah, I'll just so I'll say, what, what's your weirdest coincidence or well, what's your weirdest set of random events that have occurred that you thought is very strange you know and it shouldn't you know thinking back in it it should never have happened like that um, I think I've rambled on a bit too much my panniers are still there, which is good. So I'm just gonna leave it there. Thanks for watching, ride safe. See you later, bye.